Isn't it good? So, I uh, just want to go back before we were talking about, um, before we actually did the interview, about your voice as an instrument. And it's something that, I, again, I noticed it's very percussive. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did ask you whether you had any kind of percussion training, but you told me no. No, <laughs> no percussion training. <laughs> but in terms of the voice, because in, in the production of this, the voice is used, your voice is used as an instrument quite a lot. And where normally there'd be a keyboard doing that, the voice mm-hmm. is doing that. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of production, who, who produced the album? It's self-produced. Self-produced. Yeah. So is this the first time you've ever delved into production side of things? No, I mean, I think for me, production and composition is a very great territory. Like, I think that in this day and age, production and, and um, composition is almost the same thing. Because I think a lot of composers now, like, I mean, I guess I would consider myself a composer, but I, I don't really have the technique to actually write out music. And I think a lot of people are in the same boat as me. So mm. I think it's all about what you can do on a computer. Mm. And I mean, just having access to home studios, I think has... I mean, it's, it's opened up a whole new world of music, basically, and music writing. And so I think I write all my pieces just in the studio, literally. So, I mean, it's producing from day one, which is why I find I have trouble like imagining working with a producer because mm-hmm. I feel like the production is actually like what the music is. It's like what makes, us, what makes the songs. Sure. So what about the next record? Then? I mean, am, I, am I getting ahead of myself here? Are you, no. are you thinking in terms of the next record? Yeah, definitely. We're thinking, we're thinking about it. I mean, I think the next record, like, for, first of all, for this record, I mean, it was written over a period of almost four years. Right. And just because it took a long time to figure out where we were going to record it, who was going to put it out, all these things. And so I'm excited for the next record just to write it in a more, like, a, a smaller period of time. I think it'll be, like, a more concise idea, which I'm mm-hmm. excited about. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I'm, and we're going to start in the studio. I want to just experiment and... I just want to experiment with sounds in the studio. Like I, I'm quite limited in my bedroom studio to just like the sounds I have access to in my bedroom. But I'd like to just sort of expand and just use as much as we can and as many resources as we can. Sure. So, and one thing I want to nail as well while we're here, the goth tag <laughs> that Ouster has. Lazy journalism is what I'd call it. <laughs> Me too. Because <laughs> really, I mean, I know with Beating the Pulse, yeah. it was quite a dark sounding record. Yeah. But as testament, the, the, the songs that you played today, Darkness doesn't mean, it's not exactly Bauhaus or Sisters of Mercy, is it? It's not gothic, really, is it? I mean, I mean, you, you even say yourself about that kind of the minor key aspects of things, yeah. which is mm-hmm. kind of fair enough. It's not exactly mm-hmm. uh, kind of waltzing toe tappers. Yeah. But it's not goth, goth music, is it, really? I wouldn't call it goth music. No. Mm-hmm. Right, so we've nailed that. Yeah. Okay, we'll put <laughs> that one to bed. All right, great. Okay, so after... Um...